On the control panel, you've got your print speed and you've got your uh, flood speed. You've also got your main operating pressure, which uh, the machine requires that you bring at least 80 psi of air to the machine and then you use this regulator and gauge here to uh, lower it to 80 psi. Also included here is a separate regulator and gauge for your squeegee pressure and flood bar. Uh, that's the pressure that the squeegee is going to push down with and the flood bar uh, during the print cycle. And typically this regulator and gauge is used to reduce the pressure to about 30 psi depending upon your application. Also on the control box is the single cycle auto cycle switch. In single cycle the machine will go through a, a full one full print cycle when the foot pedal is uh, compressed. You can also cycle the machine instead of the foot pedal you can also use the single cycle button on the machine. Or if you want to run it automatically, you can put the machine into auto cycle and it will continually cycle. The dwell time, that's the time that the print head stays up that you have to remove the printed product and add another product is controlled here. So depending upon your operator and the parts that you're running you can uh, adjust the dwell time. And uh, the, you also have on your control panel the e-stop. So if you're in automatic cycling mode and you need to uh, stop the machine this will do it and that uh, dumps all the air and stops the machine. You also have on the control panel your carriage up and down switch. Uh, the final item that you have on the control panel is your flood hold switch. Now what this does is you have the option with the 810 to run two different cycles. Uh, if you're running solvent based inks you're going to want to leave the screen flooded in most cases so that the ink doesn't dry up in the screen. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print and then after printing you're going to want to flood or spread the ink over the image. While the print head is up you want the image covered so the screen doesn't dry up such as this. Print then flood. Now, people using thinner inks, such as uh, UV curable inks, uh, it's, it's more desirable to leave the screen unflooded uh, because the thinner inks, if you have a break in the action, uh, may start to come through the screen. So in that case, what we do is you throw the switch, and now it's going to hold the flood. So it's going to print, and after printing, uh, it has not flooded so the screen is up the image is not covered with uh, ink. Now what happens is when you hit the foot pedal first thing it's going to do is flood then print. So it's leaving the screen unflooded now after printing. Now this uh, is just a simple throw of the switch to switch back so if you're using multiple ink systems it's a nice feature where you, you may want to leave it flooded in some cases, you may not in other cases.